Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors. Today, we're taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Flash, and Batman Earth Negative 52, otherwise known as Red Death, action figure set. Now this is a two-pack, this is my first two-pack from McFarlane Toys, and I'm super excited because it does come with a cool looking base, so I can't wait to get that out. Check out the box here, pretty cool looking design, again with the the dynamic poses in the package. I'm afraid what I'm gonna find when I open that, that flash figure, uh, just because of what I found in the other one, so I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, look at the side of the box, just a window view into the package. Back of the box is basically two figures put together to form this one, you know, piece that gives you a look at the Red Death here and the flash here. This is the same artwork used for the single release flash. And let's see if we can get the bottom of the box all in the package. I have to really throw it out here. There you can look at the, the UPC. This is a pretty big box here. Let's see what that looks like. Alrighty, so with that out of the way, let's open this guy up and let's play with him. All right, so here they are out of the package and it was just like I feared. Uh, McFarland Toys, please do not put these guys in dynamic poses it just totally ruins the figure out of the package i mean they're stuck in they're stuck like that for you know however long it takes to get from china or wherever you you make them to here and and, and to be purchased so they're stuck in, in in the package like that for months which just makes the plastic stick but before we get into all that let's look at all the accessories that this comes with the two dc stands which you will definitely need to stand these up the cards for them, these are the holographic kind of foil cards. Uh, my flash card is pretty messed up right there. It's pretty bent up, which sucks. I don't like it when they're all bent up. Uh, we don't have a regular single carded release of Red Death. So I am, a, or, or Batman from Earth Negative 52. So I am assuming that we will probably get one since this is a holographic version and not the plain version. Oh, see, exactly. He's bow-legged from coming out of the package. Can't even stand on his own. Oh, and there goes Flash. Awesome. Uh, here is the base. Pretty cool. It does come with a couple of notches, so you can stand these figures up on that base. So it will probably make for a pretty good you know, little display stand. If I can build out a little diorama that, that looks similar to this, this might actually come in handy one day. Alrighty, so I'm just going to get these guys out of the way. We'll review him last. And as you can see, uh, if, you, if you look at my regular review of The Flash, and that's what I'm, I'm going to let you do. I'm just going to put a link up here, somewhere up in here, so you can go grab that. You can look at the differences between the two. Here is, here is the regular release. You can see that they have different heads. This is a smirky head sculpt. This is a, uh, a you know somebody is doing something to me that I don't really like maybe you know going getting uh, a rectal exam or something look at that just look at the face it just it doesn't make sense why you would give him this face I, I don't know uh, you can also tell that the two hands are different here uh, so they do have different hands other than that these are the exact same figure the only difference is when he was packed in his box, he was turned this way. When he's packed in his box, he's turned this way. So you can see, and they were both in that dynamic, stupid pose. So his trunks on this side are all jacked up and his trunks on this side are all jacked up where the leg was, you know, up in some stupid pose. So now hopefully I'm going to let it naturally fall out. Hopefully that will happen over time. Who knows? Probably if I if it really bugs me enough, I'm gonna have to get a hair dryer and and kind of fix that. Uh, but yeah, so that is my review on the Flash. You, like I said, you can go check out that review. It's pretty much the same figure, just different hands and a different head sculpt. Alrighty, so let's bring out the Red Death here. First, we'll go over the paint and the uh, and the sculpt here. Sculpt wise, this thing is beautiful absolutely beautiful i mean they did a just a just an awesome job with this figure 
I, you know, I couldn't be happier with if I turned his stomach around, get him lined up right. He's all jacked up from being in the box. Okay, yeah, there you go. Now he looks right. Look at the face. The face looks absolutely cool and killer. I mean, just the, the bat ears on him. So if, if you don't know who what what how this happened, this is actually Bruce Wayne, sort of a combo of Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen. So basically on, on this Earth, Earth negative uh, 52, I believe it was, uh, Bruce Wayne pretty much takes the Flash, ties him to the front of the Batmobile, and and goes into the speed force and they just kind of combine you know sort of back to the future style um kind of thing and uh, and what results is this particular batman uh red death so uh let's continue on with the paint i like you know that the the logo is is raised off the chest that is really cool I like little details in these you know i, I would the way these like I don't know what you call these things. They, they kind of stick out. I would assume, and if this was a real life thing, these would be like super sharp, like cut yourself kind of sharp against them. And that's probably like blades or something like that. Look at how, look how bowed his legs are from being in the box. I mean, typically, you know, that would probably, ah, that's just gonna, that, that's gonna bug me because he's not gonna be able to stand without, without a stand. And that's gonna, just bug me uh, look at the back some more he does have a hole in his back as well uh, he's using the same hand that this is the, actually the same hand that the regular version flash has uh, I, I do like the paint colors on here I, I like the way that you know some they, they did this this you know matte dark uh, kind of a brownish red color and then highlighting the, the sharp edges of, of the costume and the gauntlets and the boots with this bright, vivid, um, I don't want to call it metallic, but it's almost uh, uh, just a, a metallic-y looking red. I love that. Uh, and you know, the paint apps on this thing are just impeccable. Uh, this is a, a very nicely painted Batman. Look at the ears right there. I mean, nothing is out of sorts with this particular piece. The only problem it's where it was in the package and just warped. I, uh, it, it really just grinds my nerves there. Even some detail on the on the arms here that kind of gets lost if you don't really look at it. I mean, there's a lot to look at with this figure. Um, just some fantastic design elements, design choices uh, by by the artist who created him and uh, and McFarlane Toys for going above and beyond just creating this cool figure. I do like the. Uh, the knee guards there to help hide some of the articulation. I, I love it when they do that. All right, so let's look at the articulation on this guy. His head can move down pretty good, up around, all the way around there. And of course he does have some, you know, you can tilt, tilt all you want. That's really cool. He has butterfly shoulders so he can move back and forth. He has bicep swivel. He also can move up like this you know pretty decently he has double jointed elbows as you can see and of course the patented uh mcfarlane and, uh, wrist joint there he does have a little bit of an ab crunch there you know he can go back pretty good and move his arm up so you can see go forward a little bit he can turn at the waist he's really tight though i mean he can i did I, you saw me in the beginning i did have to straighten that up uh Okay, so that's as far as you're gonna go with a split. Reason being, these these blade designs right here will put up against the hip blade and you're not gonna get any further unless you just wanna bend the crap out of that. And I really don't wanna do that. As far as bending like that, I mean, spread like that, he can go about that far, which is okay. Again, he has these blade pieces on the front and, and of course the, the trunks in the back kinda keep it that way double jointed knees as you can tell there and of course the mcfarland ankle joint that you know you can do all sorts of things with that and the toe articulation there uh overall I, I, this could have been one of the coolest mcfarland figures of the year and and very well still could be i'm just gonna have to work with this 
to to get him to where he needs to be uh, standing on his own because he's he, he's never going to stand on his own uh, like he is now. I'm going to have to do some some play in that. I got him there. He has to. You have to spread his legs pretty far apart, but I do have him standing on his own. So that is that is kind of cool. And we're gonna bring back this flash with him, which which he comes with. And this flash is also a little bit hard to stand. Oh no! Don't do that. There we go. We got them both standing. Awesome. Just not standing straight up, but hey, I'll take what I can get. All right. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and like the channel. I would appreciate that so much. Uh, you can also check me out on dccollectors.com and check me out on all the social media sites via DC Collectors. Peace.